What's going on everyone? Welcome to a brand new video on the channel. Welcome to some Forza Horizon 4. Yeah, we're not there yet. Not there yet. However, there are still, uh, I guess, a couple of weeks now until Forza Horizon 5 actually comes out and I'm able to record and make videos on that and I'm very, very excited. So, uh, yeah, but just like I said, we're not there yet. Not there yet for me to change that, that intro to me saying Forza Horizon 5. Regardless, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe, it helps me out a lot, and of course you guys should be able to see a lot of Forza Horizon 5 videos coming onto the channel very, very soon, so if you want to keep up with that, if you want to, you know, watch all of those, then, like I said, subscribe. There's only about 30% of you guys that are actually subscribed to the channel, that you're watching the video right now. Statistics don't lie, you know, YouTube never lies. The internet is always, is always very truthful. Um, uh, maybe. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, like I said, subscribe, like the video and all that sort of stuff. Wheel Spin Drift Build. It's been a while now since I've done this. Almost a series finale on this uh, game especially. So yeah, Wheel Spin Drift, like I said, is something that I haven't done in, in quite a while. But I really want to go ahead and revisit it. And uh, like I said, do a couple more of these episodes. Maybe one, like this could be the last one. I don't really know, to be honest. But um, yeah, like I said, uh, I have a couple of super wheel spins. I'm going to spin them here. Obviously, the way the series works is I spin the wheel spins, whatever car I get, I have to use, and then the budget will also be determined by the spin. Um, so, obviously, if I get a bunch of money, you know, I don't have a car to build, so, I mean, there's no point of even keeping this. So, what we're doing is we're spinning again. Um, if we get multiple cars, it'll be the car that's the furthest to the left, usually. And uh, if I've already done a build on that, which I haven't done a build on the Fair Lady Z, this could be kind of nice. Uh, added to my garage, 100 million percent. Wait, I didn't mean to spin again. I didn't mean to spin again. Stop it. Stop it, stop it, stop it. Sell it. Sell both of them. I don't want them. Uh, yeah, we got uh, we got a Z, which is really good. Cool. Actually, I don't want to go to the festival. What I do want to do is go to Fortune Island, since we're going to be drifting this, obviously. Bringing it over to the to the needle climb is going to be great. Oh, man, I can't wait for a new game. I can't wait, because there's going to be so many new drift zones and just areas to drift on. I can't wait. I can't wait. Especially the volcano and drifting down that or up it or whatever i feel like this series is gonna bang on uh, on horizon 5 and i cannot wait for that but yeah obviously love the bentley that i'm driving here if you guys haven't seen this this was also part of a i think a wheel spin drift build if i remember correctly if it wasn't there was definitely a video where i ended up just building this thing and it was ridiculous it's so low especially i absolutely fell in love with this car it was just so so cool the way it looked it has like the gt3 kit except without the wing and it just looks beautiful it drives real well, too. It's like, I mean, that's that's a bonus as well. Nissan. 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 However people pronounce this thing. Yeah, I've never done a build on this thing. Which is good. We'll pick this one because it says new next to it. I'm going to drive a stock. Because we usually do that. I just wanted to see, obviously, how this thing drives stock. So let's have a look at that. Uh, let's have a look at stats really quick as well before I do anything there. And 160 horsepower. 180 newton meters of torque. Only weighs 1,000 kilos. I mean, that's not bad. To be a 30 grand, was it 30,000 that we had to spend on this thing as our budget? I'm pretty sure it was. I'll have a look at the recording af afterwards, but I'm pretty sure it was 30,000. I don't know. I mean, I know we can do quite a bit with 30,000. I don't think we can do like an engine swap with 30,000, though. That's the thing. 160 horsepower doesn't seem like a lot either. Um, <laughs> so we'll see. We'll see what this thing drives like. Again, completely stock. A lot of these cars, especially super low power cars, they're not really great. But they're, like, because they have such little horsepower, and especially because they're old like this, they have, you know, like, crappy tires. So they're actually very fun to drive. Even though you're not going to get many points or whatever when you're doing... It's actually so slow. You're not going to get many points when you're going down the lead climb. They're still very, very fun to drive, like I said, because they have, like, just... Super low weight, terrible tires. Yeah, this is no exception. It's the same. It is the same. Just use weight transfer. Full power. Go oh, God. No, I couldn't have used full power there because I was going to spin out fully. Yeah, these tires are so bad. I feel like as soon as we get a little bit of an incline, this thing is going to die. It's not going to make it up. It. Not sideways, anyway. <laughs> there we go. Literally exactly what I said. We had a tiny bit of an incline there, and the second gear was just like, <laughs> As soon as we start going downhill, using a bit of momentum, gravity helps us out as well. Oh, 
Come on. Come on, Z. Come on. Oh, back we go again. Nice, nice. <laughs> it's so underpowered. But it's so fun to drive. Oh my god. Yes. Okay, okay. Okay, back sideways you go. Come on. Just try to hold it on handbrake to see what happens there, especially when I accelerate. Accelerate so slowly. I feel like clutch kicking this thing is just... It doesn't do much. But again, like I said, these tires are so bad. Okay, let's try get 200,000 points. I don't know if that's possible, but let's just try it anyway. Is 200,000 points the, the three stars in this thing? Can I do... Yeah, I'm definitely doing it now. Is that three stars done? Does that mean I've done three stars on this needle climb? <laughs> I keep forgetting what it is. Yeah! <laughs> oh, I love it. It sounds good, too. I'm kind of tempted to just keep this engine in it. I mean, we'll see what sort of engine upgrades we have. Because if we put the RB in it... Actually, do we have the option to put the RB in it? The RB26? I don't even know if we do. And if we do, it's probably going to be very expensive. And I don't really want to put... Or I don't want to spend all 30 grand of it. You know, cause that's how much usually what engine swaps cost in this. They're like... 15 to like... 80 grand or something like that. Whoa, I can't remember what the most expensive engine swap is. But it's something ridiculous. I remember... Being... Really, really expensive. So... I don't really want to spend all of my budget, obviously, just on an engine, on an engine swap, and that's it, you know? I want to focus on tires, I want to focus on, on some sort of grip with this thing. Uh, okay. I'm pretty sure it was 30 grand. Like I said, I'm going to stop the recording and I'm going to start it again, because I need to actually pay attention. I have, I didn't pay attention, alright? I was like, I was too excited as soon as I saw this guy. Okay, it was 30 grand. I was right. So I kind of did pay attention, but not too much. Right, let's have a look at engine swaps here. BMW engine, 10 grand. LS, 20 grand. 23 grand? Ooh. But only gives me 327 horsepower, which I don't think it's worth it. I do not think it's worth it. Keep the standard engine. This only costs 109, well, this, uh, 1,800. I think we're sticking to this engine. I think we are. We could go Rocket Bunny, though. Ooh. Rocket Bunny, 5 grand on the kit. You know what? You know what? I'll leave it until the last resort. Until the last possible thing. Wait, what am I doing? It's actually quite a lot of customization options for this thing. A hundred grand! I was about to say a hundred grand. No, it's a hundred credits for this. Instead of... Instead of putting the wide body on it, we could technically get this thing to look kind of cool regardless. Fair enough. Okay. Um, well, if I'm gonna give this more, actually, let's just let's just see, right? It's gonna be faster, right? It's gonna be significantly faster than before. Um, do I want to put drag tires? Drag tires are ten grand. I don't really want to do that. How much faster are we gonna get this thing? That is that's the big question here. Our tires are one seventy fives all around, so I definitely want to change those. Two twenty fives in the front, two thirty fives in the rear. I think we should be fine with that. Uh, as for my actual wheels, the rims. I'm going to leave those alone for now. We've spent five grand already on this. Um, I definitely want to change my transmission. I definitely want to change the clutch because that is... It's it's really important. Actually, you know what? Instead of doing that, I'll put the sports transmission on it just so we can save a little bit of money. I Instead of adjusting all the gears, I'll just adjust like a final drive. And I'll do that. Uh, diff, 100%. Uh, actually, we'll just do sports diff. I think that unlocks... Yeah, it unlocks acceleration. I don't need the fully customizable one because I don't have all-wheel drive or anything like that. So I don't technically need it too much. Again, if I'm building something on a budget, I have to be careful what I buy here. Um, and then weight reduction as well is pretty important. I mean, 2,350. And it gives me quite a bit of weight reduction. So we have about half the money left. Right. Um, ARBs. ARBs could work here. Mm. Again, I know for a fact power is going to be like a big thing. 
Yeah, turbo usually gives me the most amount of power. 42 horsepower there. Cams as well. 53 horsepower out of this. Uh, is the block going to give us more power or is it the pistons? None of them. Exhaust maybe? Price per performance pretty much is what I'm looking at here. Um, by the looks of things, nothing else really gives me like a big jump like the, the rest of the one. The, the rest of the parts that I've used. Like the cams and the turbo are usually the first ones to pick. Because the, those are the ones that give me the most amount of power. Yeah, we'll do that one. Um, exhaust we could change. I'm definitely not going to be able to put the body kit on it. I, I definitely do think that we need a little bit more power here. Oh, tires. I completely forgot about tires, actually. I'm on stock tires, but we did make these wider, so I should have a lot more grip. But I still don't want to stand stock tires. I feel like stock tires are going to be just too bad. Um, street tires, sports tires. Hmm. These are five grand, so I can't pick these. We'll put street tires on it. And, uh... As for the rims, I mean, we can get... Can we get slightly lighter wheels, maybe? Some Advents? I don't mind these. They're not that bad. They cost 3700 though. They're very expensive. Um, so I can't pick those. I guess that's probably it, right? I don't think I can do anything else here. I can add a little bit more power, maybe. I'll put that front bumper on, because it's only 100 credits, and it doesn't really make too much of a difference. And it looks it looks a little nicer as well if I keep this on. Uh, winglet, again, I don't really want to put anything in the back of this thing. I kind of still like the chrome, so I don't really want to change the back end of this car. I wish you could change exhaust, just like separately. Um, that would be kind of cool, but I think overall, pretty much done here. I'm just going to add more power to this, I guess. We could need it. Flywheel, maybe, because... Let's definitely get the rev up a lot quicker. It's gonna... How, how much does it actually affect it? Does it affect that at all? I feel like with the flywheel, it should really affect the how easy the engine revs, right? Yeah, braking is improved, though. But acceleration doesn't seem to change much. Weird. Weird, 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 weird. Um... Yeah, I'm gonna just add more power to this thing. 3,800 is too much. We'll do that. 2,000... Or 29,350. We can put like an... Oh, we can't. I was about to say we can put that on. We can't put anything else on. I think we're pretty much done. Filter, maybe? 600? That's it, right? An extra 4 horsepower. And I guess that's pretty much it with this build. Doesn't look like much, but... 334 horsepower, 338 newton meters of torque, 911 kilos. I mean, I feel like the setup should be good. Sorry, not the setup, but the, the upgrades should be kind of good. Um, I mean, we've almost... I was about to say we, we've almost tripled our horsepower. We haven't really tripled it, but... You know. We, we two and a half times it, pretty much. And it's... Uh, I feel like it should be good. I feel like it should be kind of good. The only thing I'm going to do right now to this is probably lock the diff. I don't think I have enough power to, to do anything else. Alright, I'm going to leave it like that for now. I'm going to do one run down the hill just to see what it's like. I'm going to adjust the tune then, change my uh, suspension setup and all that sort of stuff. Change my transmission as well if the gear ratios aren't to my liking. Which would probably be one of the main things that I'll end up changing on this thing. Has a ton more grip. Now, oh yeah, yeah. This, this should definitely be a lot better to drive. Yeah, it has a lot more grip. Uh, but I still am able to spin those rear wheels pretty easily, so that's good. But the front end has grip now, so I can actually just, like, you know, pull it in the direction that I want to go. It looks good, too. Definitely looks good. I also really like this orange. There's probably, like, a, a brown color or whatever that I really like on this thing. Probably would have changed it to that. I don't know. But, yeah, let's just go downhill. Oh, it's beautiful. Does it still slide? It still slides for days. I don't even want to touch the tune on this thing because I feel like I'm going to ruin it. Already. Very smooth. Maybe longer gears or slightly shorter gears so I can use... Oh, I can, I can actually use third gear. Can I use a mid-corner? <laughs> Not really. Not really. I have to actually like increase my speed properly. 
maybe ever so slightly short my gear ratios, just slightly. Camber and tall, it just does as well a little bit. As for tire grip though, I actually really like my tire grip. That's why I don't know how much. I'm probably like gonna just very, very slightly adjust my my camber and tall on this thing because the amount of tire, um, the tire patch pretty much not, it's connecting to the road right now when I'm signing. I feel like it's perfect for the amount of grip that I actually need. And I feel like I'm going to ruin it completely if I just put extreme amounts of camera or extreme amounts of toe. I feel like I'll just make it so it doesn't have grip again, like it did before. But right now, I feel like it's so nice to drive. The front end grip is, is lovely with this thing. I just feel like I won't be able to spin out. It's a really nice feeling. It's a really, really nice feeling. I don't know why I decided to do that, by the way, there. I just held the handbrake for no reason. Well, it's an extra 100,000 points. Which is really good. I like this thing. I think it's very nice to drive right now. No tune at all, just all the upgrades and that's pretty much it. It's very nice to drive. I'm gonna go ahead, like I said, and mess with my mess with my tune on this thing. And I'll make this thing a little, a little better to drive, hopefully. So, I guess I'll be right back. I'm gonna keep testing some stuff out. And uh, I'll mess with a tune. Okay, everyone. So, what's different? Uh, well, it's silver now. It has a carbon fiber bonnet, pretty much, or a hood, whatever. And the wheels are now gloss instead of like a weird matte slash satin finish. So they're uh, they're still the original wheels. I haven't I haven't touched those. I'm not gonna spend extra money on them. Uh, but that's pretty much the difference. However, I have made it so it drives a little nicer, a little cleaner. Um, short gears are well where needed, so that's what I ended up doing. I shortened my gears a little bit, but still very very usable for most of these corners again I made it so it slides nice and easy it's really smooth still so this is just a lovely car to drive it generally is second gear is still usable but you can see me banging second gear off the rev limiter which is something that obviously didn't do before so the shorter gear ratios indicate that um, camber and toe were adjusted so I have a little bit just a tiny bit more slip uh, now as well. However, uh, you know, along with the, the springs and dampers and stuff like that that have been adjusted, I uh, I made it so this thing actually holds decent angle. This dude is really distracting, by the way. It's very, very distracting. And he, uh, he needs to leave. He, like, needs to leave me alone. When I was going down hell earlier, he was just constantly next to me as well. It's just really, really distracting. I tried to do a run I concentrate on what I'm doing. I'm not trying to tandem with anyone, so please leave me alone when I'm doing stuff like this. Especially when I'm doing when I'm trying to get a car that has like low horsepower or whatever, or a car that's not like high end. I'm trying to concentrate here. So don't do that. Okay. Yeah, I just gotta be. Just gotta be smooth with it, you know, no sudden movements, nothing like that. That's why I'm not playing with like sim steering or anything like that. I don't this car just doesn't need it. I need to just be smooth with my movement with my steering, all that sort of stuff. Throttle control as well. You gotta be careful with that. You can see me I'm not like not all the time anyway, but like only sometimes I'm banging off the limiter. Like most of the time I'm just like sort of Controlling revs and stuff like that because I'm trying to make it down the hill as smooth as I possibly can So like here is kind of needed because I need to stretch this slide out as much as possible before I change into the next gear And transition you know what I mean A lot of the stuff with this car a lot of the drifting with this car even when it was a like, completely stock and even now It's very very similar because it's like low horsepower. right? It feels like it's uh, it's it's very very good or like it's uh, it's very useful to use momentum if that makes sense so like you just sort of send yourself sideways and you literally use momentum constantly so when you're changing directions and stuff like that you just you just use the body of the car and the changing of the directions to help yourself 
get around corners nice and easy. And constantly just keep you going sideways, you know what I mean? It's nice and easy to drive. It's very smooth. For only 30 grand worth of upgrades. This is very, very easy to drive. Again, I'm pretty sure if we had like drag tires or something like that, or if I ended up, you know, giving it a stupid amount of horsepower, it'd be nice. But uh, yeah, I like this. This was this was a good car to get, and a very good amount of money as well. It wasn't too much money either. Budget drift build uh, with this with the Z was actually really really nice, and the car drives great as well. It's very very easy to control. Well, I guess that's it. Thank you very much everybody for watching. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. I'm probably gonna upload one more of these videos uh, before Forza Horizon 5 comes out and then obviously I'll swap over to that whenever that's out and uh, yeah but thank you everybody for subscribing and liking the series and all that sort of stuff like I said it's definitely gonna return in the near future and um, yeah I guess that's it I'll talk to you guys later goodbye <laughs>